Hey, what's up, movie fans? This is Jason Voor. Oh, wait a second. It's not Jason Voorhees. It's London Hawthorne. What's up, everybody? I am here with yet another movie review. Uh, yesterday and today were actually my days off. So I decided, why not have double features two days in a row? So yesterday I did reviews of Minions. I did reviews of Pixels. And today I saw Southpaw. And I already forgot. No, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. So check out all of those movie reviews plus my other ones, which I have tons and tons of. So this is going to be a review of Southpaw. This is the latest Antoine Fuqua. Sorry if the pronunciation is incorrect. You get the idea. Uh, this is his latest film starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is a boxer who has risen from, you know, the slums. He's been in orphanages his whole life. Uh, he meets the love of his life, and she sticks with him uh, and helps him in his budding career. Now, he is 43-0, and 0, uh, and he retains his title in his latest bout. Unfortunately, he uh, is the guy on top. Everybody wants to, you know, get this title from him. So people that are also in obscurity will do whatever they need to do to get his attention, to get his title potentially so at a charity event um, you know you see this in the trailer so if you haven't seen the trailer pause this right now uh, his wife is unfortunately shot so I apologize if you haven't seen the trailer I gave you a warning she's shot and passes away so he 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 has to try and figure out what to do with his life it's a heart-wrenching moment you can tell they love each other uh, but his life just goes to hell in a handbasket quickly they have a daughter together and he's trying to figure out what he can do this isn't a guy who's got everything together his wife had done the planning for the daughter and her husband you know for the last several years so he's got to try and figure out what he can possibly do he's you know, he uses substances like alcohol and some kind of drugs. They don't go into detail. Um, and to medicate. And he's got to try and figure out himself what he can do to remedy this situation. Uh, Forrest Whitaker plays a man who owns a gym, a boxing gym. And after, he, after Jake Gyllenhaal's character has lost it all, he's trying to help him find it again. Uh... It's a very heart-wrenching story. Um, the boxing sequences are shot perfectly. Um, you know, we don't really see a lot of boxing movies uh, nowadays, but man, this made up for it. The sequences are just incredible. It's a formulaic film in the sense uh, that you know pretty much what's going to happen next. However, it's kind of what you want to happen, if you know what I mean. Um, the acting's really, really good. Jake Gyllenhaal, he's just... He's one of those transformative actors who, you know, you could see him be this skinny, weaselly nerd, um, you know, in one movie. And then the next movie, he is this jacked up dude who you can believe uh, is the world heavyweight, or, well, not heavyweight, band of, whatever weight class he's in, you believe that this guy can do it. He looks phenomenal. Uh, this guy is a chameleon actor. He can do it. He is one of the best actors he keeps getting better with what he does uh, supporting cast is fine the daughter is okay you know child actors are great child actors are very very hard to find she's pretty good um, I appreciate they went with someone who uh, you know didn't have doesn't look like she's um, you know one of these toddlers and Tierra's girls they went with a normal looking girl who looks her age who dresses appropriate I give them a lot of props for that. Like, she looked like a normal little girl in this film, and that is a huge thumbs up for this movie because it added to the authenticity of the film. Now, I kept thinking, man, is this based on a true story? Like, they definitely pull on your heartstrings in this film. The acting, like I said, is... Jake Gyllenhaal is just great. He steals the show. Um, it's, it's about him. Forrest Whitaker is a very good secondary character. Um, I wish some of the other characters had some more moments in the film, but we don't really need that. Uh, they keep it short, concise, it's well shot. Not all these tremendous jump cuts that you get in films. If you see a lot of my reviews, you know that I mention jump cuts. I hate 
when they just need to flash, 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 flash. Just have a slow scene. It adds, it builds tension, it shows that these actors can act. You don't need to jump cut all the time. So I give it a thumbs up. I think Jake Gyllenhaal gives another Oscar uh, worthy performance, just like Nightcrawler, just like Brothers. This dude's killing it, just like Bubble Boy. <laughs> Yeah. So check out my other movie reviews. I have tons and tons and tons of other ones. Oh yeah, check out Moonlight Mile if you haven't seen that. That's another wonderful performance uh, given by Jake Gyllenhaal. A lot of people haven't seen that movie, but it's really, really good. Same with Brothers. See Brothers. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I wish you all the best. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube at London Hawthorne. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Upvoting videos helps me out. But clicking on ads really does. So thanks a lot for watching. Help me buy some more popcorn because I need it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.